Welcome to this week's edition of Matucci's at Home Cooking with Corey. This week we're going to be doing a Cajun mustard beef tenderloin rub, pan seared into the oven for a few minutes. It's going to be going with a house made bacon shallot jam with roasted golden beets, tossed in a farro green salad, a little bit of red onion, feta cheese, and a lemon thyme vinegar. You're going to take your beef tenderloin and put it in a dish. So we're going to add our Cajun mustard rub to it. You get a nice generous amount. If you don't want as much, you can definitely not put as much on there, but I like to get it nice and coated all the way around. Let's add a little more. And while we're doing this, you want to get a pan, uh, medium high heat. Now that you have your tenderloin rub, you're going to take our medium high heat pan, a little bit of olive oil, get that nice and coated. I would say about a, probably an ounce and a half. Let it sit for a second. Okay, and right before it starts smoking, add these beautiful guys in here. So I just get a serum, get a nice golden on it. Now it's been about a minute. I'm gonna flip them. Always make sure you flip away so you don't splatter any oil or grease on you. Whatever's in your pan, get that nice golden color on it. I'm going to add a couple pads of butter. Now you have your butter adder. We're going to pop it into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 5 to 10 minutes, depending on your preference. Alright, it's been about 5 minutes. I like mine mid-rare. That's what's going to be a beautiful mid-rare now. Uh, we're going to let it rest for a few more minutes. And while we do that, we're going to make our farro salad. If you want it medium, you can go in 7-8 minutes. Uh, anything over that uh, is primarily up to you. I would not personally recommend it. I think it ruins the meat, especially of this quality. For your farro salad, we am take our pre-cooked farro and add that to the bowl. Next, we add our roasted golden beets, some fresh red onion, a little bit of feta cheese. I'm gonna reserve some for a garnish. And our tomato, or Bacon shallot jam. And then we have our lemon thyme vinaigrette. I'm gonna add some of that. I'm gonna reserve some so I can taste it. And check to see if I need any more. You can do this with a spoon. I like to do it with my hands to make sure that I don't crush it and I can feel everything getting nice and mixed. It's really beautiful. And then I always check too for salt and pepper, not just the vinaigrette. Now we have our beautiful tenderloin and farro salad plated. You want to make sure to reserve your juice from your pan so you can pour it over everything. Beautiful love.